Hello and welcome. So like me, you bought an ADAC 207 quantizer and you put it in your rack. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Did you see that? So that's how it powers up. First it sweeps the LEDs up and down and then it stops on 5 and 3. It flashes the 5 and 3 which is these two back twice and that shows that you have the latest version of this software. And uh, as you can see they're arranged almost like a keyboard. So we would say C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and B. And uh, what you see there is that we have a C major scale. And those are the notes that are quantized in four different channels. So you have one, two, three, four channels of quantization and uh, they are all working to the scale that you have there but you can offset the other three channels from the first so that you can play a chord if you choose to so you could have the root note on one then you could have the third the fifth and the seventh and you would have a good four finger chord and then you could quantize up the whole major uh, major chords or if you want minor chords now these three at the top these two switches and the knob allow you to select your scale visually for example you could set it to F and you put that to natural and this to major and you would have an F major scale or you could have this to sharp and that would be then F sharp major or you could put it to minor and that would be F sharp minor so you can get all your major and minor scales by simply dialing in the letter here then going sharp normal or flat sharp natural or flat major or minor and then you would press set for a second or so and that would set up the active notes in that scale but for a musician who already knows all their keys you don't even need to do that you can simply touch the buttons and uh, turn on, turn them on and off to suit yourself so for example if we do that one that would be E flat and we would do this that would be B flat so we would have a B flat scale okay so you uh, if you know this stuff you don't need to do this you can simply uh, highlight the highlight the notes so that they are in red and that will be your active scale so that allows you to get even scales that you that are not called out here for example when you set up a minor scale using these it sets up the natural minor if you want the harmonic minor you have to know your notes you can also even though this is not in the manual and nowhere mentioned you can also turn on all of them and quantize to a chromatic scale you can do that if you want so it's quite up to you how you want to set up when you're actually quantizing the notes you can change it while it is in action and you can even reduce the number of notes you don't have to use the full scale you can just have one three five or whatever you want now if you have less than this scale what happens is you can set the way it quantizes you can set it to above which means as you go slightly above as your voltage goes slightly above 
the actual voltage for a particular note, it will jump to the next higher note, whatever that happens to be. So you won't get dead space in between. If you choose to set it to ignore in between, then it will not change until the, until the voltage is very exact, exactly right. So normally the default is to have it above. You can also have it below, but normally the default is to have it above so that if you're in between two notes, it quantizes to the higher note. So how do you set all of these things up? Well, it turns out that the uh, buttons here are also menu buttons. So if you actually hold them down uh, for a second, you can set the amount of time you have to hold them to before the menu activates. So you would have menu 1, menu 2, menu 3, 4, all the way down to 12, okay? So you say I have 12 menus by pushing and holding the key. Now the first ones allow you to set up the root notes for the quantizing that I was telling you about. For example, right now all four quantizer channels are tuned to unison. So in other words, that can be shown because if I hold down the two button, this one is lit. So that's the root note. And after a little while it switches back to before. So it jumps out of the menu for you so you can use it to see what the presets are set to but just by touching and holding for one second and then you'll see which of the things is lit and then after a couple seconds more it goes back to the quantizer menu jumps out of that menu back to the root menu so for example we would come now we would do three and we would see that three is also set to the root note and we would do four and 4 is also set to the root note. So what happens is you can go and uh, experiment with all the buttons and of course certain things will light and that you will know what the manual tells you what um, you know on means and off means and then to change it off or on you just touch it or touch one of the others and to save it you just touch it again so two touches and um, it changes for example if we wanted to change the root note on say channel 4 we would hold it down then we would touch this to move it to that note and touch it twice and it goes back to the thing and now when we touch channel 4 again see it's on that one so we would put it back to where it was. So it's very, very easy to program once you understand what the individual menus are for. And the book makes that fairly plain. Now, whenever you turn it on and it powers up, after it's gone through its diagnostics and showed you what the software version is by the flashing there, it will always come to the last preset. I always have preset 1. It shipped from the factory with preset 1 as the C scale. So it would go to the C scale on power up. But if I, for example, had programmed preset 5 with an A scale. And preset 5 was the last one that I was using when I turned it off. Then when I turn it on again, it will load preset 5. It remembers because it's in non-volatile memory. Okay, so we're going to plug in some cables and you're going to get to hear this wonderful quantizer. But before I do, I just want to point out two things which you are going to find really confusing. The manual states that when you push button 7, nothing should light. And when you push button 7 or menu 7, we have 7 plus 2 and 3 lighting. Now that is because I have the latest version of the software. If you're following the manual from the older version, 
you will find that nothing lights at all when you push menu 7. Now let's patch the output of channel 1 CV into one of our Q106 oscillators in the 1 volt per octave control and let's patch a variable voltage source out of mass into the input and uh, when we turn up now on our sound system we hear a deep sound and as we raise the voltage in mass notice what happens to the lights let me just put that wire over the top so it doesn't get in the way when we raise it now notice what happens to the lights they blink they just blink when we hit the notes so we go up and down a C scale just by raising and lowering our voltage Now if we want a chromatic scale, we just turn on, just press the buttons, you can turn on and off the notes, now we get a chromatic scale. Now, what we can do, what the, the thing has the capability, not only to act as a, an incoming quantizer, but we can use it as a miniature keyboard. Not that you would want to really play on it, but if we hold down button 1, it will switch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the quantizing just to show you what happens when we hold down button 1 if we hold down button 1 we switch the menu to the keyboard they all come on except the note that's sounding now notice what happens here the note that's sounding is, is off so what I can do now I can turn down the octaves well, it doesn't actually affect it till they touch it. Now, this feature may be important to people who are not keyboardists or who want to just control the pitch. And we have like 10 octaves at our disposal. So in the keyboard mode, this knob acts as a octave switch. Okay, now we've got the um, quantizer patched into four nice analog oscillators and we're mixing them we're using four oscillators from our synthesizers.com rig and uh, they're playing in unison we've had we, we've pretty much tuned them
So the last thing we're going to do for this video is we're going to set an offset for the other three notes so that we can play major chords instead of unison. One thing I discovered when setting the intervals what I, was I had to set it one button higher than what the manual recommended. I had to use the higher button. Somehow there's an error in the manual. But now notice how beautiful the major chord sounds. All four voices are quantizing and I should be able to sweep up and down So guys, this is definitely the quantizer to get if you haven't got one before. And you can set up any four note chord. Once you're a musician, no problem at all. Any four note chord at all you want. Okay guys, so see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.